We all love the POTA spotting page, but there's no rig control. There's no automatic way to get this information over to our logging software. Wouldn't it be great if there was some kind of spotting network like I have here? This is my spotting cluster here, and I can just click on any one of these frequencies, and you can see my radio changes frequency. It populates the call sign, shows where they are, all that. But for parks on the air, well, now there is. If your logging software has a spotting network like this that you can configure, there is now a POTA cluster that you can add to your software. Let's take a look. So I have to give a big shout out to Peter WB3IZU for telling me about this. He sent me an email saying how he had switched to Rumlog NG for Mac and never looked back. And he tells me about this new POTA DX cluster that you can configure in your ham radio logging software. And that link brings us to this groups.io from Peter K1PCN. He says there is a new Telnet DX cluster just for POTA if you like hunting it at home. Add it to your DX clusters in your logging software. New POTA DX cluster server Telnet. I would like to inform you that a new and perhaps the first DX cluster server specific for POTA activities is now active. This cluster node is not connected to the usual cluster network, so it only forwards the POTA spots taking them from the POTA.app site, RBNs included. Being based on DX Spider and Telnet, it can be used within any logging program. And then Chuck NA1CN says, this is pretty slick. I plugged this into F, uh, N3FJP software last night. So it works on N3FJP as well. And I would assume this would also work with Ham Radio Deluxe, Mac Logger DX, uh, any logging software where you can configure spots in the actual software itself. So let me show you how to do that. So all we need to do is navigate to where your logging software's DX cluster settings are. In my case, it's rum log, and then you go to the DX cluster tab, and we're simply gonna hit this add. Now here first, we can name this. I'll name this POTA. Then for the address, we need to put the address of the actual spotting cluster, which we can grab here, and I'll leave this link in the description but it's pota-cluster.iz2lsc.eu. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that and paste it right here into the address. And then for port, we can see it's 7373. So I'm gonna type 7373 in here. Uh, this transfer spot note to logging field note is pretty helpful. So if your logging software has that feature, I suggest turning it on. And my spotter settings, I only want to see spots from people who are in North America. I've set the bands I want, and you can change the modes you want, and then I can hit close. From there, I can go to on Rumlog NG, it's on terminal, and you can see I have four different options for spotting clusters. So I'll go ahead and disconnect this one, and I can check the POTA one and go ahead and hit connect. And there you can see, we're already getting POTA contacts just like that. So here's Golf 7 Whiskey Kilo X-Ray. Let's turn that screen on. I can double click on that. The logging software has populated his information. It's changed my radio's frequency. And if I could hear him, I could work him just like that. Now, one thing I wanna note, this doesn't seem to be quite accurate when he said this is pulling directly from the Parks on the Air website. I think it kind of is, but I also think it kind of isn't. I've been playing with this since yesterday, and I'll notice like this guy right here, N5KB, he's not on the POTA spotting page here, even though he's showing up in POTA spots. I've also seen some DX stations that come through here, so it's not 100% accurate, it doesn't appear, but... It's pretty freaking awesome to be able to just have all of these POTA spots. Like everything that is on the POTA website does show up on here, but somehow there's more stuff that shows up on there as well. So do keep that in mind. It's mostly POTA, but you'll get uh, a few, like here's Spain, EA5D on 17 meters. You know, he's not on the POTA spotting page, even if we refresh this. 
It's like, where is that coming from? So, and I haven't been able to find like who actually created this to ask about this. Um, so there are some who are not actually uh, POTUS spots. But the cool thing is, if I click on one of these frequencies, let's say I click on this 14318, because we added that note to the log, KF4Y, I just clicked on him, it automatically adds the park number there. So you don't have to type anything in. You'd get the call sign, the frequency, your radio changes, you know what park they're at, and hopefully you can work them. So that is a pretty gosh darn awesome feature, if you ask me. But wait, there's more. Maybe I don't want to see just the POTA guys. Maybe I want to see the other spotting clusters too. So in Rumlog anyways, I can go to another tab and I can select this TXDS, which is just a, a, uh, another cluster that I use. Go ahead and connect to that. This is the Texas DX Society here in Houston. And now I'll start to see spots from that spotting cluster, which should be just the general spotting cluster, as well as the parks on the air. So now I have parks on the air and I have a regular spotting cluster all in one window where I can click on them and hopefully work them. So there we are guys, pretty awesome feature. Thank you to whoever designed this. I have no idea who you are, but you are freaking awesome and you just filled a void in a lot of POTA activators and hunters hearts having been uh, uh, able to do this now. So there you are. I'll leave links to this in the description if you want to set it up for yourself. And thanks for watching Ham Radio Tube. My name is Mike, KMRD73.